Oh, it's been great. You know, it's been awesome getting back with the squad, uh, being able to come out here. Um, you know, I see us getting better every day as a team, as an offensive unit, uh, especially in the tight end room. So it's been it's been awesome. Is there less of a transition you would say because so many offensive guys are back? Right? Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Uh, you know, we have a pretty good knowledge of our offense. We run a pretty complex offense, but uh, with the amount of returners on offense, it's been a very smooth transition. Um, you know, helping, trying to help out the young guys, trying to get everyone caught up and on board, but I, I think it's been pretty smooth. Tanner, what's the biggest jump you see? Uh, I see confidence. Uh, you know, every day I watch this kid grow and grow and grow, and I said it in the spring as well, you know, he continues to get better every day. He continues to improve his run blocking, his catching ability. So, you know, I, I'm, ex I'm really excited to see him this fall because I know he's going to help out our team a lot, so. Yeah, and again, I'll say it about Tyler. You know, confidence. Um, that's a big thing. A big, you know, I guess, word in our in our uh, tight end room is confidence. We, we see him growing just as much. Um, you know, he he's young. He again, he's he's put on a lot of weight. So it's been really cool to see that weight help him in the run game, in the pass game. Um, but again, just continuing to grow and continuing to get better. So. A lot, uh, you know, as a tight end, we kind of got a chip on our shoulder. We're obviously a lot undersized compared to some of the DNs we go against in the pack and across the conference, whatever. But, uh, you know, we work on it every day. We try to get better every day and trying to master our craft, so. How is this, how is this camp different for you than last year, obviously, now that you're in known commodity? Uh, for me, it's you know, developing my football knowledge and my understanding. Um, learning this offense, again, I touched on it earlier. Uh, it's been cool to see how everything's starting to connect. The dots are starting to connect, and I'm really just able to go play and have fun. So that's probably the biggest thing for me. Um, and then yeah, run blocking as well. That's been a big emphasis for myself, putting on a little bit of extra weight and just trying to be dominant and, and doing everything that the team needs me to do. So. Have Ethan Power or any of your other coaches said anything to you about maybe how you're going to be covered differently now that you're more known than you maybe we're an unknown last year? Yeah, it, you know, it comes up, but at the end of the day, I'm going to do my job. I'm going to do what the offensive scheme tells me to do. And if I'm not open, someone else is going to be open. So it really doesn't matter. You know, it's I'm doing my 111th, and, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. So. How did you try to maybe even raise your level of connection with Jayden during the offseason? just working we just worked you know we worked all spring all summer uh just continuing to build that that confidence together and, and really understanding how i run routes understanding where he wants me to be when he's throwing the ball uh but it's just time and effort and just you know developing together where have you seen growth in the red zone because you guys have been practicing that a lot during the spring yeah, that's a big emphasis for our team. Um, Coach Fish has gone over numbers, statistics. He's a big statistics guy, but uh, we're just that, that's that's what win games at the end of the day. So there's obviously a huge emphasis on that. We know our offense can put up a lot of points. We know we can drive down the field, and really being in the red zone is just about executing and doing our job at a high level. So. Uh, pass game or a run game? Which pass game? Pass game? Uh, you know, they all bring their their different challenges. So I can't say one in particular. Um, but I, yeah, I can't say one in particular. I, I really enjoy you know getting get getting different looks every day. What have you seen? Yeah. You get to see him side by side. Just what impresses you about it's been it's been awesome. I love having Big Jonah next to me. He makes my job a lot easier and I hope I make his job a little bit easier. But he's great communicating with me. Um I trust he's gonna do his job and I hope he trusts I'm gonna do mine. Um but I just see him continuing to grow and get better and he's he's gonna be a really good one for us this year. So what do you see from a guy like Trayton Stukes? Uh he's switched over now to play more against tight ends from Last year, yeah, uh, just athletic. You know, he can cover anyone on the field. And if you watch Stu's game, he's quick, so quick. He's smart, really intelligent player. Um, so he gives me, you know, a handful. Um, but I, I love going up against him. He makes me a better player. Makes the team better. Do you ever joke with Jaden the fact that he had never thrown the ball to a tight end before last year, and then you come in here and put up more yards than any tight end since Greenhouse? Oh yeah, and, and yeah, and I, I always, I, I like to say to him, you know, I'm gonna be your best friend throughout the year because I, I'm hoping that I'm always his. As go to if he doesn't see anything downfield, we know we know he likes to take those deep shots. But I'm hoping I can just get open for him and, and do what the offense needs me to do. So last question. Do you set goals before the season? Like is there a statistical number that you want to reach? Uh yeah, there's some numbers that they're kind of personal to me, but for me really it's just winning. 
get into a bowl game, win as many games as we can. Um, and our offense, we want to put up 50, 60 points a game. That's, that's all that matters, winning. So. All right, that's our time. Thanks, guys. Thanks.